What's good guys and welcome to our weekly market preview here at Elementary FX. Whether you're watching on our, our website or YouTube or even Reddit, I just want to say that it's good to have you guys with us. And um, those of you who are unfamiliar with our weekly market previews, basically we go through the major pairs. For today, we'll be going through Euro USD and USD Yen. And uh, basically, we, what we'll do is that we'll go through the high time frames just to have a look at the bigger picture before we go down to the low time frames on our daily market analysis. So, uh, for today, I'll try to keep things short because I know that um, some of our weekly market previews have been known to drag on for quite a bit. So, let's have a look at the charts. The first thing we will be looking at will be the Euro USD on the daily chart. And um, I think I've mentioned this previously in our previous uh, videos. Price has been basically in this channel for quite a while, ever since after the election. And um, you can see that price has entered this um, range right here. Price has uh, acted, uh, entered this range and we have support, we have resistance, we have support, resistance, support and resistance. And as you can see, price recently reacted with the top of our channel, that uh, resistance right there before making its way downwards. So this is something uh, quite common sense, you know, channel trading is something a lot of people do uh, very well. So naturally what we can expect to do is wait for price to come down here and possibly have a long entry or a short entry but you know since this is a daily chart this is something that um this is something that might take quite a while uh to unfold or materialize so what i can see on this chart is that now that we have this uh, channel right here and price actually made a very nice bullish move on the last day last week uh we can potentially look for an area to go for a short entry if price retests these uh, highs right here um, we have very nice resistance. We have a very nice resistance level right here because uh, you can see that we have a rejection of this area. And if I were to look left, you can see that we have more rejections of this area right here in the form of support, support, and uh, even right here with resistance. So potentially, if price comes up into that area, we can look for a short opportunity. Um, if price doesn't respect that area and instead continues its way higher, we can use our channel once again to look for a short entry. So this is the Euro USD. One more thing I want to mention before I move on to the next, next pair, we also have a potential pattern trade. We actually have a potential bet formation lining up. If I were to draw the pattern out for you, we have our X to A, our A to B coming around at 50% retracement, B to C and our CD completion coming right around here, around the 886. And as you can see, this would probably take about 250 pips. So we can expect this to, um, if it ever happens, it could take quite a while. So this is something that you want to look out for in the next few weeks. So this is the Euro USD. Moving on, we'll be looking at the USD Yen. Uh, I just want to say that USD Yen presented itself, uh, presented to us a very beautiful opportunity. It presented itself, uh, it presented a cipher pattern to us. And if I were to draw it out for you, you can see we have our X to A, A to B, B to C, and our CD completion coming around at 786. Let me just get it right for you, 786. If we had taken this trade, just like our previous video, we would have captured the top of this move. And that would, and of course, like I said, that, that, that's a brilliant feeling, but um, it's too late um, to hop on this uh, decipher pattern right now. Price actually has made um, about, I think, a 100 pip move downwards, about a 105 pip move, move downwards. So it's about, it's uh, quite late, it's too late for this move. So we'll be looking for more, the next opportunity. Next opportunity, we could potentially enter short and long in this um in this pair right here. But uh, I'll I'll go through both with you. But I'll start off with the short opportunity. I want to identify this area of support uh, or structure as you call it because uh, if I were to zoom in, you can see that we have had rejections here with uh, many candles and even this one. And if we were to look left, you can see that price has actually re respected this area multiple times in the form of support right here. And also resistance, 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 some false breakouts right here. So this could potentially be a decent opportunity for us to enter short um, in confluence with our cipher pattern that we identified uh, if price manages to come up to this area right here. Potential short opportunity, this is something that we can look out for. Price is about, um, about 30 pips away, so this is something that we can look out for when market opens tomorrow. Um, now, going on to the long opportunity, the next, uh, the, the next form of structure that I can identify would be this area right here. It's quite plain to see because we have a very nice area of resistance. And once again, if I were to look left, you can see that we have more resistance, even more support right here. And basically, price has respected this area multiple times before. 
we have um support 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 resistance very nice false breakouts right here and basically you can see that this area has been respected many times previously so something that we can look out for would be a trend continuation trade over this up, uptrend right here and um, we can look for a potential move down towards this area before we go for a long entry uh, one more thing that I like to use in my analysis would be Fibonacci's and if we were to use the latest swing which is this swing low to swing high if we were to take a Fibonacci retracement of that you'll see that we will get a 618 retracement coming right around that area and our 618 has been known to be respected very um, 618 has been known to be respected quite uh, frequently so this could be a potential uh, long opportunity that we can do that we can look at on the USD yen so this has been my analysis on euro usd and the usd yen uh thank you guys for joining me wherever you guys are watching he, the team here at elementary effects really do appreciate the support that all of you guys have given us and um thank you guys for joining me and i'll see you guys on monday for our daily market analysis